Good morning and welcome to the Benefice of Chew Valley East for morning prayer for Sunday the 29th of January 2023, which we are taking as the presentation of Christ in the temple, which we sometimes call Candlemas. If you wish to join in the service, then you can download the service sheet from the lakesidegroup.org website. We say the words in bold together. Please join in with the Psalms and Canticles by reciting each one along with me in its entirety. So let's take a moment of silence to prepare ourselves to pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 24, verses 1 to 10. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have a clean heart and pure hands, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Malachi, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. Thus says the Lord, See, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, indeed he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the descendants of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver, until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be swift to bear witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired workers in their wages, the widow and the orphan, against those who thrust aside the alien, and do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. Old Testament canticle taken from Isaiah 42. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it. 
who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Our second reading is from the second chapter of Luke's Gospel, verses 22 to 40. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male should be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of God was upon him. A responsory from Psalm 96. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Our Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. In our prayers of intercession, to the words, Lord, come to, to your people, please respond, in your mercy set us free. Lord, come to your people, in your mercy set us free. Searched for Christ comes. To the wise and powerful, star led to Bethlehem, seeking a king, he comes, child of Mary, crowned with weakness, worthy of every gift. Loving God, we pray for the leaders of the world and all with responsibility for their communities. We pray for wisdom, that all leaders may act and lead justly. We pray for peace among and between nations and especially at this time we remember the people of Ukraine and pray for peace between them and Russia. We pray for all who are seeking to bring hope and light and life to those in the most need and we pray that governments around the world and especially in this nation will act for the good of all. Guide them with your light to seek wisdom, justice and peace. Lord, come to your people. In your mercy, set us free. Longed for, Christ comes. To Anna and Simeon, whose days are lived in faithful expectation, he comes a new life to the old, a living prophecy of hope. Loving God, we pray for the church in all the world. We pray that the church may grow in hope and wisdom and go outwards into the world to bring more people into the light of God's presence. We pray for those places where there is persecution, where the church is not free to act or speak or be. We pray for the resilience of those believers, faithful believers in those places. We pray for our own church in England with many different struggles, as much as anything struggling with the apathy of those around who see no reason to become part of God's family. We pray that we might find the ways to reach out to them and draw them into your presence and build up a holy community. Unite us by your spirit and make us faithful witnesses to the hope we have in you. Lord, come to your people. In your mercy, set us free. Prayed for, Christ comes. To men and women, girls and boys, crying out in darkness, pain and loneliness, he comes at one with us, our saviour, healer and friend. Loving God, we pray for those whose lives are hard and painful or whose existence is sorrowful, bitter or empty. In their need, may they know your healing touch, reaching out to comfort, strengthen and restore. Lord, come to your people. In your mercy, set us free. Longed for and prayed for, loving God, you come to us now as you have come to your people in every age. We thank you for all who have reflected the light of Christ. Help us to follow their example and bring us with them to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the nations and glory of Israel, make your home among us and present us pure and holy to your heavenly Father, your God and our God. Amen.
believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so ends the Christmas and Epiphany tide season. We have a few weeks of what's known as ordinary time before Lent arrives in February and we focus and face towards the cross once more.